tonight, new information about what was in that recording by Mark Condit. We're also learning he had a hit list planning his next victims. Both of his roommates have been interviewed by investigators and released. He wished he could be sorry, but he wasn't. That's one of the numerous statements the Austin bomber made on a confession tape. Tony Plahetsky has exclusive insight into what else is on that tape. And Tony, this could be the best insight into his mind so far. Yeah, Quita and Terry, Interim Police Chief Brian Manley first talked about the, t the tape yesterday, describing it as the ramblings of a troubled young man talking about the challenges in his life. Today, I learned new details about what's on that tape. Before we saw this, and heard for the first time. The person has been identified by state, federal, and local law enforcement sources as 23-year-old Mark Condit. The man whose actions put Austin on edge for weeks found a few minutes to record his thoughts. It starts with Condit saying, it's me again. He says he knows at this point police knew his name and he was preparing for the inevitable, planning, he says, to go to a McDonald's and blow himself up. He describes himself as a psychopath and has been since childhood. Forensic psychologist Dr. Max Wattell. A true psychopath um, does not have the ability to understand right from wrong, to have that, that moral compass that the rest of us have. Um, they're very callous, unemotional. Um, they're very cold and calculating. There would be few opportunities for someone other than the family to diagnose him. He was homeschooled spent some time attending Austin Community College before dropping out to work at a job he lost last August. You can tell that something is wrong. Um, you know, the, the hair on the back of your neck stands up and uh, it, it's almost like you're talking to a person through a clouded glass and um, that they just kind of exude this aura of evilness almost so that it's, it's very creepy and very troubling. I don't know if that was the experience that law enforcement professionals were having when they were watching that tape, uh, but something like that can come through even on a video if, if somebody is, is that mentally deranged. At the end of the recording, Condit reflects, I wish I were sorry, but I am not. Now, investigators are still going through this recording to see what else they can learn about the suspect and his motives.